when I'm organizing things, I get so focused on the end goal that I forget about the logistics of getting there. Say for my end goal, I want to create a directory within a directory, but neither of them exist yet. I go to run mcdir, uh, get an error, mcdir cannot create directory, insert name here, uh, no such file or directory. Whatever will I do? I'm going to tell you what to do. This is B from Taytalk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to create a directory with its parent directory from the Linux command line with one command, so stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. So I wanted to give you a quick, um, a quick just understanding of what a child and a parent directory is. So a parent, a child directory is a directory um, within another directory. A parent directory is the directory um, the child directory is within. So if we actually go to, let me shrink my face down. If we go to, we could, we're just gonna do this one thing at a time. We're gonna do clear, let's clear this out. Let's, do, let's make this also a little bit bigger for you. We're gonna CD to var, and then we're going to go to log. All right, so here we have our directory. We're in the log directory. The log directory is the child of the var directory. And really, the var directory is the child of the root directory. So we've actually got two levels, two children here that all come and stem from the root directory. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this out. Let's actually talk about the command. We're going to go ahead and cd back to my home directory. All right, so the command we're going to be using is going to be called mcdir. All right, mcdir allows you to make directories. I'm just showing you a brief explanation here with what is, and that's exactly what the what is command does. I've got a video on that, so go check it out if you are interested. All right, so we're going to need one option to be able to go ahead and make this happen. We're going to need to do mcdir, and then we're going to go ahead and put tack p. Now, the p is going to allow us to create the parent directory. So then let's go ahead and now put in the directory. And here we go. And if we go ahead and just do an ls, we can see please. If we do ls please, we can see that we have work inside of there. So pretty cool, right? Now let me actually show you what that error looks like when you don't um, when you don't have the p option. So if you just do it like this. And then let's go. All right, we're going to go ahead and create this directory here. And we can see here, McDur cannot create directory, will not work, uh, no such file or directory. But if we go back up here and we put in the tack P option, we do an LS, we can see, we can do CD to will, we can see will there. And we do ls here, we can see do a cd into not, and then ls here. And if we do a real path on work, we can see right here. So, and if we take this all the way back to the root directory, is really every every file, or I'm sorry, every directory underneath the root directory is going to be a child. But still, that doesn't mean that that doesn't necessarily mean that this is not the parent because you know it, it, it's going based on our current directory. So we have to still put that in there. But really we can see here that will not work. And we can see the child parent relationship all the way back to the root directory. And, and the root, real path command is actually pretty cool. It tells you which, um, it tells you the full path of any you know file or directory just in case you need to copy paste that or whatever. So awesome. Yeah, great. So now you know how to make um, directories with their parent directories. Uh, check out the other videos in my one command series. Or if you're already caught up in that series, go ahead and check out this other video instead. Remember, mistakes make you better. So keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.